Hello friends! If you own a Fujifilm mirrorless camera, you have probably already faced the problem that new film simulations do not appear in firmware for older cameras. Raw editors do not have them either. For example, if I open the list of available profiles for my X-T2, there will be no Eterna and Eterna Bleach Bypass film simulations. They are available only for the latest Fuji cameras. These profiles are encoded, so you can't just pick them up and make desired film profiles for old cameras. However, there is always a way out, and in this video, I will show you how you can do it. To do this, you will need Photoshop, Lightroom, Pro version of 3D LUT Creator, and a RAW file from the camera, which supports new film simulations. Let's go! In this video, I will be using RAW file shot with Fujifilm X-T4. Where can you get them from? RAW files are often found in camera reviews, for example. I took these images from X-T4 review on Profotos.ru. They are all freely available. I will leave a link to the review in the video description. So, let's go to Develop tab and create virtual copies for my files. I'm going to apply Bleach Bypass Profile to the second copy. I'm mostly interested in Bleach Bypass Profile. The photo looks flat for me when using Eterna Profile, while with Bleach Bypass Profile I get contrast and dimmed colors. So now I'm exporting two photos. The first photo will be developed with Adobe Color Profile. The second one will use Bleach Bypass Profile. You should export in TIFF file format, 16-bit sRGB color space. I'm going to load these images into 3D LUT Creator. I will load the file with Bleach Bypass Profile as the main one. I will load the file with Adobe Color Profile as a reference. How to copy the look of Eterna Bleach Bypass? I will be using Custom Color Chart in 3D LUT Creator. I'm opening Color Chart Grid tool and selecting Custom from this drop down list. I will create grid with size 20 by 20. I'm going to stretch it over the entire image so that the maximum of colors fall into the grid points. The grid can be adjusted for more accuracy. Now I will save the color data. I will name the grid preset Eterna BB. Unfortunately, the save window has gone out of my recording bounds, so just take my word for it. The colors of the points after the saving should be equal to the colors of the image under the points. I'm closing Color Chart Grid Tool and swapping my working image and the reference. I run Color Chart Grid Tool again, and my last grid is loaded here automatically. It is very important that the position of the points doesn't change. If you load this grid from the menu, the points position will reset. This is why it is important to follow my tutorial step by step. I will choose Curves plus Matrix Calibration Method. Let's start matching. The result looks amazing. The matching accuracy is high. Let's compare before and after images side to side. Here is the reference. Surely, it would be great if I had an X-T4 shot with a real color target, but there would be other shades besides blue and gray, as my raw image has. But with this particular file, everything worked out just fine. Let's save this color grading to a LUT file. So everything is ready to create a new profile. To do this, I will load any raw file shot with X-T2 into Photoshop. I'm going to Presets tab and click on New Preset icon while holding Alt key. I will name my new profile Eterna BB and create a new group of profiles for it. I just need to untick Point Curve. Then I go to the bottom and tick the box Color Lookup Table. I will choose here the LUT I've created. Done. The profile has been created. I will reload Lightroom to apply new profile. I will open the files from XT2. I'm going to the list of profiles, selecting the film group, and here is my new profile.
Here is a photo before and after applying the new profile. Let's apply it to other photos. Here you can see how the profile works with greens and reds. Now let's try to apply this profile to the original file from XT4. Here is how the original profile works. Here is the image with my profile. Contrast is slightly different, possibly due to the fact that my profile was created based on Adobe Color Profile for XT2. That's all for this video. Now you know how to use new film simulations with old Fujifilm cameras. If you are satisfied with the functionality of old cameras and love new film simulations, now there is no point in buying a new camera because you can make profiles by yourself. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget about likes and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Bye everyone!